Hi, I'm Connor. I'm Joe. And I'm Rahul. And we're acting students of Pendleton Sixth Form. If I was to say World War One to use, what would you think of? Trench warfare? Mud? Poppies? Yeah, us too. But since working on this project, we've learnt a lot about World War One. Some stuff that I didn't even know of. But in particular, we've learnt a lot about the children and the young adults and the stuff that they went through in this hard time. 100 years ago, Britain was involved in the worst, most deadly conflict the world has ever seen. Eight and a half million men went to fight for this country. One million never returned, and the ones who were lucky enough to return came back with wounds and mental scars of the imagery that they had seen. But what about those left at home? What about the experience of those who did not fight? Especially the young people. We don't hear about them much. Why? How would they feel? How would I feel? How would you feel? Well, that's what we've been thinking about. So, who's involved? Well, young people from Salford. Pupils from Harrop Fold School and Walkden High School. Young people who attend Little Holton Youth Club and students, like myself, from Salford City College. But the project didn't start with us, though. Our teachers and lecturers met up with the historians at MMU, basically to get them up to speed. Let me take you back to the start of this project, where our teachers were asked what their current knowledge of the First World War was. Limited, honestly. Um, as I said before, I, from when I was at school, I remember learning a lot more about World War II and that being heavily focused on. And the, the traditional stories we know of, and my grandparents, they were the ones that fought in World War II, so World War I kind of faded into the background slightly, even though I know the importance of it, but I, I honestly couldn't tell you that much about it in detail. I, I think it's quite good. I know, obviously, um, oh, what's a lovely war, you know, that touches on factual information as well. It also touches on other things, other plays that touch on the World War, World war I, or how soldiers were affected and people who weren't involved in a war. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's um, okay. Yeah, not brilliant, but it's okay. Listening to the details today, I would say very limited knowledge. And for some reason, I seem more comfortable with World War II, but then Marcus explained that would be because that would have been recorded and reported and a lot more. So I, I would say very little. They took part in a workshop that looked at the resources to test drive the information we would receive on our project. One of the main ideas of this project was that it is a cascade model of learning, where historians offer support to teaching staff, who in turn helped us to make our own unique responses. So instead of telling us the facts, we were taught some basic research skills, so we found out things that we were interested in ourselves. Once we got involved in the project, we went to MMU and did some research and we were briefed by Dr Morris. Oh, and we got a chance to look around the uni. Then we went back and each group took their research, decided what they wanted to focus on and started devising. I were looking at a dance about women who want to be in the war. Today I looked at making new material for the dance by looking at strong movements and gestures. Now let's hear from some of the other people involved in the project. Here's John. I want to be a soldier. My name is John. I'm in year nine. I go to Harrowfield School in Salford. Blackout! That means you should be quiet in the wings, thank you. Reading goes through. Lights right, off, off we go. Miss Belmika told us we were going to be involved in this project about World War One, and I thought we were all going to be soldiers. I mean, I know about the trenches and that, but it wasn't going to be about that. So it's about the effects on children in World War I, what they did, um, what happened to them, what age you went to war. That's me explaining the project to a youth group at Little Houghton Library. And what the people at home was doing whilst members at war. We made up scenes in drama class. We wrote poetry with the poet Terry Caffrey. We recorded our ideas on the green screen so that they could be used alongside archive films and worded together to create our own responses to the historical information we found out. We wondered... What was it like for kids like us then? Imagine getting the killed in action letter. How would I feel if there was a war now? I wouldn't want my dad to fight in a war. Um, I've been watching it normally because I'm a co-director. Oh, um, I was on the internet and I found this poem and it was what John... It's John's... Um, 
monologue sort of thing. It's about um, a, a boy that um, his dad's gone away to war and his mum's on, his mum's on her own and she's just sad and stuff like that. Killed in action. I don't know much about fighting. I've never seen a sword. But dad's gone and left us. They'll say you'll get rewards. But only the house of Wilmer. The poor mother's awful sad. It's just me now. We've lost dad. Dad, they told me he was a soldier. And he ought to go and fight. The neighbours say he'd be lucky. And I'm sure he'd be alright. We do so miss him. And poor mother sits and sighs. And I know she's troubled. by the tears in her eyes. And when we developed our ideas, we had the chance to perform live in Ben Kingsley Theatre. Even Miss Belmiga, our drama teacher, seemed happy. Elated. I'm so, so proud of them. They have done such a good job. And it came out better than I could ever imagine, so I'm really happy. I know I was. I thought it went good. Didn't mess up. I really liked developing the play and showing people what we could do and showing the different perspectives on war. I worked with Aidan. And here's more about what we did in our rehearsal process. <coughs> when I was in year nine at school, I actually went to Belgium and looked at all the war graves and learned more about World War One. So that was really interesting and I felt I could actually bring information into the group for the piece out of what I learned there. Dad! So glad you're home safe, Dad. Is this a medal or something? I'm so proud of you, Dad. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really interesting to, uh, well, to see the uni. But I'm very excited because obviously I do acting, so it's good to put something I'm interested in as in acting, something else I'm interested in, and then put them together and create a new something new that that's not I've not done before, which I'm looking forward to. I think we made a piece of theatre that looks at some of the questions we were asking in the research, like, why is the child's experience so underrepresented? And what impact did the war really have on young people? Uh, so the themes we were doing today was about when the fathers left home or family members or brothers, what it was like for the children left at home. So the actors split off and we did a section of, um, about the kids needing something, needing help by the dad or brother or whatever. Um, so for example, mine was I damaged my knee and I needed my dad. And the first section, he's there to help, but then he's gone off to war and come back and he's not there to help us for the second section. So it was sort of the vulnerability of the kids and it shows how much we needed our fathers. So yeah. Dad, it's the time to go bird watching, Dad. Oh, thanks, Dad. Dad, I've got the babe. I'm really excited. Are you ready to go fishing? Have you got the babe? Thanks, Dad. Dad, I wrote your poem. Can I read it to you? Oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, I love wearing football boots, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Dad, the chain swap I buy. Could you fix it? Oh, thanks, Dad. With limited historical documentation, we could only assume how they felt at the time. This drama, to some extent, has allowed us to put ourselves in their shoes and really experience what they might have felt and went through at the time. Stay at home! Help your mother! Do the washing! You're too young! Stay at home! Help your mother! Do the washing! Stay at home! Do the Finally, let's hear from Joseph. I knew nothing about World War One before now, absolutely nothing, because so many people focus on World War Two, but I know tons now, I know so much. The war had a huge impact on women, both at home and at work. They made a massive contribution to the war effort, working in labs, mills and factories. Over 600,000 women took on previously male-dominated work in industry. We looked at three aspects of a woman's experience in World War One. Women who worked, women who wanted to fight, and women who were left at home. Did the women who worked in the factories and dangerous munitions works feel equal to the men they worked alongside? Did the women who wanted to fight for their country feel frustrated at the contradiction in society that said they could not fight? How did it feel for a young woman waiting to hear news of a loved one from the front? You know, your expectations for the project, what are they? Um, I think it'll be good. 
I think it will be good for the two different departments of like dance and art to dance and art. The letter is a dance piece devised in response to reading a number of the killed in action letters that we found. They are such short letters telling family members about the death of a loved one at the front. We wanted to show the moment when a family received this news and the ripple of grief this will create. Hi, I'm Luke, I'm one of the dancers here at Pendleton and I helped to work on the piece The Letter and as well as the other dancers, I played the older child in The Letter um, in a live performance. And one of the things I felt more, most interesting about this piece is how we got to assume the roles of the children and also the mother in The Letter and think about, instead of focusing on the Western Front in the war and how all that was going on, how what happened there would affect families at home and sort of tear them apart and change their roles. So for me, I would have been, say, like a 14, 15-year-old boy and suddenly I was a man of the house and I had to think about how I had to take care of my mother but also still be... I, I was still a child, so I still had to be there for my little sister but be there for my mother and I had these multiple roles that I had to think about how that would affect my character at home. I've absolutely loved every second of it, the rehearsals, the people, the ideas, everyone contributing, it's, it's been amazing. We were tasked with creating drama and dance pieces based on the knowledge that we found out. This built to the live performance on the 30th of June 2017 in the Sir Ben Kingsley Theatre in Salford. It was a fantastic night, but don't take my word for it, here's what the audience thought. It was very, very moving. I feel really privileged to have witnessed this. It just gave a diff it just gave a different view, really, to think about the people at home much more and about the the limitations, uh, what they what they couldn't do, um, and that that peer pressure, which I hadn't really thought about before. No. I thought it was absolutely excellent. Really it was that. brilliant. I thought it was very, very moving. Thinking from the child's perspective and what it was like to be left at home. I thought it was brilliant, yes. You just think about the soldiers, don't you? And you think they're the only people affected, but it's actually not the case. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more like family life and how like the more the daughters were affected and, and the wives and how they reacted to, you know, finding out that their husbands had, and their dads hadn't come home. But the project didn't stop there. To continue the Cascade model and to share our ideas with a much wider audience, some of the ideas we came up with and created have been filmed and will be put into a resource pack which you can check out online. So, that's about it. We've really enjoyed this project and we hope you have enjoyed learning about it too.